Okay, so let's do an example where we're looking at a ranking cycle and we want to determine the pump work in kilojoules per kilogram based on the cycle. So we're looking specifically at a ranking cycle in this example and we know this is also provided in the handbook as a figure and let's just go to that page in our handbook. It's going to be on page 172, hit thermodynamics, control F ranking go next 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 and it's gonna be on this page page 172 so we're given the cycle the only confusion here it just depends on the question depending on the question you're given the numbers might be off you see how the boiler here whatever comes out the boiler in this example is denoted as one but in the figure one is denoted as whatever comes out the condenser so you have to be careful with that but let's just say we're looking at this one in our handbook so we have it from the condenser we know what comes out of it is going to be a saturated liquid then at two we have what kind of liquid it's gonna be just pure liquid coming out of the pump at two from one again, from the con from the condenser, we have a saturated liquid. So whatever work we're putting into the pump, we have to look at the saturated weight, essentially the saturated lowercase v, which is the specific weight for the pump. But after the pump at two, we have a liquid. Then we know, let's go to three now. So in stage three, we know we have the boiler, we have heat coming in. With heat, we're heating up the boiler and we know that's going to be from the boiler to the turbine which is this stage, stage 3 is going to be a saturated vapor. We have a saturated vapor in stage 3. Then we know we're at the turbine now, we have a work out from the turbine, from that shaft, right? And then finally stage 4 we come back to the condenser and from at stage 4 we still have a mix so we're gonna have a mixture so we're gonna have some quality in stage 4 and in stage 2 stage 2 and 4 will have a quality value of X so that's just conceptually and this obviously depends I would understand this TS diagram it would make more sense so we start at 1 right at the condenser and we're boiling we hit the boiling point so we are in the mixed state here then we go to the superheat it we come back down to four and this repeats for the ranking cycle but if we go back to our example let's just look at specifically the pump work for the example here so we are trying to determine the pump work and this is essentially just isolating the pump we're just gonna take the pump and isolate it so let me draw a picture of our pump and we know at our pump we have in out what comes in comes out so what comes in I'm gonna say is 3 right so what comes in is gonna be 3 it's gonna be this at this temperature 3 at a temperature of 60 degrees lowercase t is the temperature 60 degrees Celsius what comes out is gonna be 4 what comes out is gonna be 4 and we know we're not given any information about what comes out from the pump so we cannot essentially determine the enthalpy we cannot determine the enthalpy H4 so that's gonna be the tricky part here we have to look solely on pressures that were given so based on this we know this is 3 what comes in is 3 what comes out is 4 and we're gonna have a work in right work in for the pump let's say for lowercase p which is our pump and that's what we want to determine and based on the first law of thermodynamics we know we can refer to an equation so this will be a handy equation I would know where this is at it's gonna be in the mechanical engineering section so go there control F type pump so we can type in pump and we can go to this page so obviously 
the letters are different right the numbers sorry what comes in and what comes out is different but we know we have a work in and that's what we want to determine so it says the work in is the gonna be the change in enthalpy so the enthalpy from one minus the enthalpy two but we know we cannot solely re rely on this because at two if we go back to our figure we're not given any specific information essentially this is our two right our four this is the same as two what comes out we're not given any information about this so we cannot rely on that we cannot use this equation so the work in is going to be our h1 minus our h2 which is going to be the same as h3 minus h4 right so that's the same but we cannot use that we have to look at pressures so we have to go back to that book that page and it's going to be on page 460 it's the la very last page in the fe handbook it's going to be on page 460 we we will have to use this equation we will have to look at the pressures we will have to look at pressure p1 minus p2 times the specific weight and we said the specific weight is gonna be for what it's gonna be whatever comes out the condenser is gonna be a saturated liquid so it's gonna be for a saturated liquid at the temperature we're given once again we're given this temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and this comes into the pump it's gonna be the saturated liquid so it's the specific weight there lowercase v so let's write that equation WN is going to equal to our the specific the specific weight and we take the change in pressure so we're looking at P1 minus P2 and we divide this by the efficiency so we're going to assume the efficiency for the pump is going to be one always assume that unless they tell you the efficiency when you're looking at these type of questions for so for a ranking cycle if they're not giving you the efficiency always assume one on the fe exam and we know we need p1 and p2 which is essentially given so do not get confused here p2 is going to be the same as our p p2 this p2 is going to be the same as this p3 so p2 equals to p3 so let's write that here p2 is going to equal to p3 and this p4 which is what's exiting the pump right p4 what's exiting here is going to equal to this pressure p1 so these will equal so that's important when you have a ranking cycle the pressures there were equal we can even prove this by looking at the T and S diagram but just know these are equal and the pressure these this pressure is going to be P4 and P1 is going to be greater than P2 and P3 it's always the case when you have a ranking cycle P1 and P4 is always greater than P2 and P3 so that's important but we know so now we know that this 4 is going to be the same as 1 and this is the pressure so it's going to be P1 and this 3 let me write the 3 on the outside is going to be equal to the pressure P2 right so it's the pressure P2 so that that's what comes in and this is what comes out so on that case we know these values these are given so we're working with what we're given we're given p2 we're given p1 that's good the only thing now we need is this v lowercase v and that's going to be at this temperature 60 degrees celsius so we can refer to the steam tables we're looking at a saturated liquid go to your thermodynamics type in steam and you can go down here to steam tables for saturated we're in the saturated region in this case and on that saturated line right saturated liquid and we want to go to temperature and we're at 60 degrees celsius and the saturated liquid is going to be this value 
So we're going to use this. So it's 0 0.00117 meter to the third per kilogram. So it's the specific volume. I think I said specific weight. It's a specific volume, lowercase v. So sorry about that. It's a specific volume. Lowercase v is always the specific volume. So let's go back and the specific volume at 60 degrees Celsius from the steam tables is going to be the 0 0.00117 meter to the third per kilogram so now we have everything so the work in is going to equal to 0 0.001017 meter to the third per kilogram again this is saturated liquid whatever leaves a condenser is always saturated liquid then we take p1 p1 is given to be the 4130 kpa right so let's keep that k because at the end of the day look at our units they're telling us we want kilojoules so that k is going to transition over in our units so at the end we'll have our answer in kilojoules per kilogram kilo right so p1 is once again 4130 kilopascals keep that k then p2 is going to be what we're given here is this is 27.8 kilopascals 27.8 kilopascals so close this out, we take all of that and divide by the efficiency, which is just one. Assume one when you're looking and they do not give you the efficiency for the pump. So the work into the pump, if I did the math correctly here, it's 4.17 kilojoules per kilogram. So this is our answer and it should be D. So let me know if that made sense. I know it took longer because we just used one equation, but you have to understand the ranking cycle and specifically what's happening. We know we have a condenser. This is a saturated liquid. And we know what's important here is the pressure P1 is gonna equal to the pressure four, right? It's the same. And the pressure at two is gonna equal to the pressure at three that's important as well. So that's all. Thank you.